Friday night means high school football playoffs continuing on both sides of the state line. So enough of me. Straight to the highlights on what was a busy Friday here in Kansas City. Starting off as we always do with the Hy-Vee game of the week. Grain Valley hosting Raytown in District 5 on the Missouri side. Eagles get on the board first. Parker Bosselman strolls right into your living room. 7-0 the score. Grain Valley leading. And they're going to pick off right where they left off. Cole Keller says, you know what? I'm going to keep this myself. He could. Go. Uh, you know the rest. 75-yard quarterback keeper for the score. 21-0 after that one. And they go on and roll. They go on and roll. 42-7 the final there. Grain Valley will take on Platte County next Saturday in the Class 5 state quarterfinals. Olathe North at Blue Valley in this game. This is Class 6A on the Kansas side. Love with that two-yard touchdown run. And he has a lot of love in this highlight. Because he's going to have another one. Strikes again. This one on a 26-yard touchdown. North takes a 14-0 lead after that one. Drags a defender with him. Oh, my goodness. Noah Palmer's been doing everything for his squad this year, and he keeps it himself this time. Rumbles in for the 10-yard score. 21-0 after that. You think they're out of the woods, but they're not. They have to hold on and win this one by a final score of 28-21. to They'll take on Blue Valley North in the Class 6A substate next Friday. Blue Valley Southwest at Aquinas now. Keep up. We're all over the place. Tyron Young, 64-yard touchdown run. What a highlight there for the young man. Aquinas goes up 6-0. They eventually win 32-7. They'll take on Mill Valley next Friday. This was my game. Shout out Grandview and Lincoln for an excellent game today. Sloppy start for the Blue Tigers. This connection between Howard Brown and Darrell Williams actually didn't happen. That whole drive was wiped out due to penalties. The Tigers had five straight on that drive, and you just can't win that way. Grandview takes advantage. Chris Connor finds Damian Stevens. Touchdown Bulldogs and Lincoln would struggle for a majority of the game. They only tack on three points this entire game and lose by a final of 14-3. to Smithville will play Grandview next Saturday. Bishop Miege at Tongi. This is in Class 4A on the Kansas side. I told you all to keep up. We're moving. We're moving. Josh Conklin is moving as well. 19-yard touchdown run. Miege with a 7-0 lead. Tim Dorsey can't find anyone. He moves from the pocket and then throws on the run to Rohan Poots for a 29-yard touchdown score. 14-0 Miege there. Tongi would finally get on the board on this one-yard run there. They cut the lead to seven, but really the Stags dominant defensively. They win by a final score of 30 to seven. They'll take on St. James Academy next Friday. Lafayette County at St. Pius. This is class two in Missouri, late second, late first quarter, excuse me. Jack Mosh off the bootleg finds Shane Dorian for the 23 yard touchdown. Pius takes a 7-0 lead. Then Robbie Sharp with this two yard run here, extends the lead to 14 to nothing. They eventually win by a 21 skunk. They'll take on Butler next Saturday in the Class 2 state quarterfinals. Getting closer to states there. All the moving parts and everything you need to know on the 41 Action News app.